गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग आर यू लिस्निंग यस सर ओके सो आफ्टर समर वेकेशन दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्लास इज इंट इट Yes, sir. Good morning, okay. sir. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. First, let me wish to all of you good morning. Good morning. Sir, your photo. Good morning, sir. Sir, how are you in the TV? <laughs> how are you in the TV? I have made. I have made some adjustment so that so that. what what you can think i have i have thought that uh, from today onwards i'll keep myself visible so that i want you you also you have to be you know some of the students see here some of them i have not uh, played their video on so if i have played my video on so you also have to play your video on only four <coughs> only three children have played their video on mayank molly and richa kumari so i want all of you to play your video on and after summer vacation this is a fresh class and we'll begin this class in a very yes. different way in a very new style okay okay sir okay first let me know someone that uh, what was the syllabus have we completed or not what was going on tell me syllabus someone completed syllabus is syllabus completed syllabus is completed yes sir. yes okay yes sir so now we have so now we have left only revision isn't it yes sir yes sir So I am thinking from today onwards, first twice a week we have class. Some of you, some of you have noise in your home. So those who have noise in their home. they can mute their video okay kisle raj how are you kisle raj so sir i am fine fine okay so those who have some noise in their house they can mute their video okay and we are fortunate that we already have completed our syllabus now we have only revision we just have left to revision revision and revision so i will conduct so many revision so that all of you will get or all all of you will score first division okay revision and first division always keep it in your mind <laughs> so uh, today i have not got i have not uh, got the time so that i could prepare the online activity of game type of activity today i haven't prepared because i have not got time so i am thinking today that today i will ask from three chapters chapter 1 chapter 2 and chapter 3 these three chapters i will ask question and you have to reply we actually we are going to revise from chapter 1 to chapter 21 okay we are going to revise so whoever name will be called out they have to keep their book off and whatever question i am going to ask you just need to say correct answers and all of you need to just concentrate that whether the student he or she is saying correct answer or not you understood molly singh are you listening Okay. So, whoever name will be called out, I will ask one by one, and all of you need to just listen his or her answer 
carefully so that whether they are saying correct or not. In this way, today we will have this kind of oral test from chapter one, two, and three. <coughs> and in the next class, we will have written test. Okay. So, yes, sir. Uh, let me think to whom I should ask first. To whom? Let me ask Kisla Raj first. Okay, Kisla Raj. Kisla Raj, are you revision? Are you doing revision? Kisla Raj, are you doing revision? All of you play your video. Alok Kumar, Ishika, Ishika Kumari, and Raji, Arnav Kumar, Sanvi Chaudhary, Dharya Gupta. All of you play your video. Those who have not played their video on, and when question will be asked, if they will see by seeing the book, means they are cheating. So you have to play your video on so that whatever activities are going on, I can keep an eye on them. Okay, so first ask from Kislaraj. Kislaraj, make yourself known. Where are you now? Where he went? Just now he was here only. Okay, then let me ask to someone else. Let me ask Garima Yadav first. Garima Yadav, are you listening? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Keep your video. Sorry, keep your book off first. Show me your book that whether you have closed it. Show okay, sir. Uh, show me your book. Hold it in your hand and show it to me that you have closed it. Book which can be Okay, very good. Now I will be asking some question and you need to reply. Okay, okay. my other first question, a flower which has a religious significance for Hindu? Lotus. Very good. Two flowers of medicinal value? Both and Carantina. No, all of you don't need to say. I will ask. Can anyone say? Ah! Arnav Kumar, I will ask one by one so you don't interrupt. Okay, Arnav Kumar. When your turn will come, then you need to reply. Now I am asking to only Garima Yadav. Okay. Now I am asking to Garima Yadav only. And all of you, what you need to do? You take your revision from chapter 1 to 3, I am going to ask only. And let me ask Garima Yadav first, then I will ask another student, then I will call out another student. In this way, I will go one by one. Garima Yadav, third question. And whatever you are taking the revision, you please don't make noise. Keep your video mute. Okay, you can mute yourself, then you revise. Otherwise, your sound is coming here and all things are being recorded. Those who are being asked only, they will keep themselves unmute. Otherwise, the rest of them will keep the keep themselves mute. So let me ask Garima Yadav first. Garima Yadav, question number third. An edible flower, tell me the name of an edible flower. Garima Yadav. Cauliflower. Very good. A beautiful flower which grows in water. Lotus. Very good. Okay, now I am going to ask from chapter two. True or false are there. All ah. amphibians have a backbone. All amphibians have a backbone. True. Frogs True. breathe. Frogs breathe through gills at the sides of their head. Good. Good. Very good. All amphibians have thin, slimy skin. True. Very good. Some frogs are extremely poisonous. 
Some frogs are extremely poisonous. Poisonous. True. Aditya Sharan, you are disturbing the class. You are chewing chewing, chewing gum here in the class during class. Aditya Sharan, behave yourself. Otherwise, you will be removed from the class. Very good. Garima Yadav have said all answers correctly. Very good. Clap for Garima Yadav. Okay. Now, next. Okay, now next. Now I am going to ask Arnav Kumar. Arnav Kumar? Sir. Yes, sir. Rima? Yes, yes. Sir. Can I, sir, I can close my video? Yeah, yeah. After saying answer, you can keep your video off. No problem. After saying answer, you okay. can keep your video off. Anyone. No problem. Okay, now Arnav Kumar. Question number one. A flower yes, used for medicinal purposes in Ayurveda. A Tulsi. flower, very good. A beautiful flower which grows in water. Lotus. Very good. An ornamental flower used as hair ornament. You are taking time, means you haven't taken revision properly in a nice way. Okay, next question. The flowers of medicinal value. The flowers of medicinal value, Arnav Kumar. I think Arnav Kumar have not taken revision in a proper way. He has wasted his time. So now I will ask to someone else. So now let me ask to, to let me see, Aditya Sharan. Aditya Sharan, keep yourself known. Make yourself visible, Aditya Sharan. Aditya Sharan. Aditya Sharan, are you listening? Aditya Sharan has left the class. Means he also have not, he also has not learned properly. Those who are, those who are leaving the class, those who are not saying correct answers, all records are being maintained. So whatever you will do, all things I will keep in a record. Okay, now I will ask to, okay, uh, let me ask to. Kisle Raj, you have raised your hand, but let me ask Dharya Gupta first. Dharya Gupta, Dharya Gupta, unmute yourself. Yes, sir. Very good. Yes. Okay, very good. Tell me question number one. An ornamental flower used as hair ornament? Mm. Okay, next question. A beautiful flower which grows in water. A beautiful flower which grows in water. Lotus. Lotus. Okay. okay, now I'm going to ask some true false. Lizards are amphibians. True. All amphibians have backbone. False. Two flowers of medicinal value. Candulans. That is not candulans. You have to say calendula. Okay, calendula. Okay, next question. A beautiful flower which grows in water. Lotus. Okay, frogs and toads breathe through their skin. False. Is it? Is it correct or not? Tell me, someone. False. No, sir. Wrong. 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 
Yes, you said wrong answer, Dhari Gupta. Okay, take revision properly. Okay, Dhari Gupta. Now I will ask to Mayank Keshri. Dhari Gupta, now take revision. Yes, sir. Okay, are you ready, Mayank, Mayank Keshri? Yes, sir. Very good. Tell me, question number one. A flower which has religious, which has a religious significance for Hindus. The lotus. Hey, sir. Hey. Yes, a lotus. <laughs> okay. Don't be confused. Say, say your answer calmly. There is no hurry. Say calmly. No problem. Two flowers of medicinal value. The calendula and rose. Okay. An edible flower. Cauliflower. A flower used for medicinal purposes in Ayurveda. The P A N D A N U S Pandanus. Very good, Pandanus. A beautiful flower which grows in water. Lotus. Okay, some true false. Salamanders are fishes and not amphibians. False. Fish are ex fish are examples of amphibians. False. Fish are example of amphibians. Is it correct? Tell someone. Sir, it is false. Okay. Yes, sir. Very good. Okay. Today, Mayam Keshri has said all answer correct. So, for Mayam Keshri, even clap hand. Clap your hand for Mayam Keshri. For Mayam Keshri. Very good. Now, I will ask Richa. Richa Kumari. Richa Kumari? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, are you listening? Is there any problem regarding my voice clarity? No, sir. Okay, question number one. Lizards are amphibians. Why? All amphibians have a backbone. True. Some amphibians grow back their limbs lost during a fight. True. Fish are examples of amphibians. Why? A flower which has a religious significance for Hindus. Lotus. A nutritious flower which can be eaten. Dahlia. Okay. An ornamental flower used as hair ornament. You close. Very good. You also said correct answer. Okay, now Yash Raj. Yash Raj, are you sleeping? Yash Raj. Keep yourself unmute, Yash Raj. Yash Raj. Yes, sir. Are you sleeping? No, sir. Okay, question number one. A flower used for medicinal purposes in Ayurveda. Pandanus. Pandanus, okay, or pandanus like that. An edible flower? Cauliflower. A flower which has a religious significance for Hindus? Lotus. Then... A beautiful flower which grows in water. 
Lotus. Now some true false. I'm going. I'm going to ask. Salamanders have tongues, which are just a few centimeters their body size. True or false? True. Is it true, Kisla Raj? Tell me. Sir, which question? Salamanders have tongues which are just a few centimeters their body size. Sir, false. It is false. So, Yashra, you said wrong answer. You take revision properly, Yashra. You don't study at your home. How did you spend your time during summer holidays? By the way, each and every day now for you, <laughs> each and every day summer holidays because lockdown is going on or just because of the coronavirus, all of you are sitting at home. Even then you are not able to learn. Okay, next student. Next, next is Sama Shorya. Sama Shorya. Yes, Kisla Raj, wait. Let me ask Sama Shorya first. Okay, Sama Shorya. Yes, sir. Okay. Frogs breathe through gills at the sides of their head. Sir, false. Have you kept your book open, Sama Shorya? Are you seeing book and telling answer? No, sir. Okay, very good. Some, by the way, I'm seeing from the, you know, because you have, Yes, you have kept your video on, so I am seeing you. You have worn white shirt. Okay, lizards are amphibians. Sir, false. All amphibians have backbones. Sir, All true. Amphibians have backbones. Okay. Some frogs are extremely poisonous. Sir, true. Okay. Now, from chapter one, an edible flower? Sir, cauliflower. A beautiful flower which grows in water? Sir, lotus. Very good. A flower which has a religious significance for Hindus? Lotus. That's why. Okay, Sama Sharia, very good. During class, someone called me. By the way, you said all answers correctly. Very good. Now, let me ask. Let me ask to Kumar Abhinav. Kumar Abhinav. Sir. Yes. yes. Sir, what you are not asking chapter three. Chapter three is very, very easy and only four questions are there. That's why I'm not asking. And because till chapter 21 is the quarterly syllabus. So each and every day, each and every class, not each and every day, because twice in a week you have GK class. So each and every class, whenever your class, GK class is there, I will ask three, three chapters. So today chapter three is very easy. That's why I'm not asking. So I am asking from chapter one and two, but next class when it will be held. So I will be asking from chapter um, four, five, and six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Whatever chapters I am asking, that also I can, con uh, that I also, I can include in that. Means whatever the previous one is there, that I also will include. And sometimes I will take oral test, sometimes written test, sometimes online test. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Very good. So let me ask Kumar Abhinav. Are you listening, Kumar Abhinav? Yes. Very good. Yes, Tell sir. me an ornamental flower used as hair ornament. A flower used for medicinal purposes in Ayurveda? Pandas. A flower which has a religious significance for Hindus? 
Lotus. Okay. All amphibians have backbone. True. Frogs breathe through gills at the side of their head. False. Very good. I'm just checking that whether you have prepared or not. So, Kumar Abhinav, I have asked five questions to you and you said all answers correctly. Now, let me ask Ishika Kumari. Ishika Kumari. Yes, sir. Mm. All amphibians have thin, slimy skin. True. Frogs and toads breathe yes, through their skin. True. Salamanders have tongues which are just a few centimeters their body size. False. Some amphibians grow back their limbs lost during a fight. True. A nutritious flower which can be eaten. Dahalia. A beautiful flower which grows in water. Lotus. Very good. Ishika Kumari. Very good. Now let me ask Ishant Raj. Ishant Raj. Yes, sir. Keep your video on. Yes, sir. I am asking, keep your video on. Play your video. Yes. Okay. Question number one. A decorative flower used in bouquet. Uh, flower Calanitis. Calanitis. Okay, next question. All amphibians are herbivores. All amphibians are herbivores. I think he is not listening. Now Adamya Vaibhav. Adamya Vaibhav, to whom you are talking? Now concentrate here. Adamya Vaibhav. Adamya Vaibhav. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Salamanders are fishes and not amphibians. Cool. Lizards are amphibians. False. Some amphibians grow back their limbs lost during a fight. True. All amphibians have a backbone. True. A flower which has a religious significance for Hindus. Lotus. An edible flower. Cauliflower. A flower used for medicinal purposes in Ayurveda. Pandanus. Very good. Now let me ask Kislai Raj. Kislai Raj. Yes, sir. Lizards are amphibians. False. Okay, you have kept your book off. I uh, have seen. Okay. Some amphibians grows back their limbs lost during a fight. True. All amphibians have a backbone. True. Frogs and toads breathe through their skin. 
fruit. A nutritious flower which can be eaten. Dandelion. No, you said wrong. What is dandelion? <laughs> okay, now let me ask to Shal Sinha. Okay, Kislaraj, Shal Sinha. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Mm, the flowers of medicinal value, two flowers of medicinal value. Rose calendar. An edible flower. Cauliflower. Lizards are amphibians. False. Some frogs are extremely poisonous. True. Very good. Now let me ask Mauli Singh. Mauli Singh? Yes, sir. Frogs breathe through gills at the sides of their head. False. All amphibians are herbivorous. False. Salamanders are fishes and not amphibians. False. An edible flower. Cauliflower. A decorative flower used in bouquet. Carnations. A flower used for medicinal purposes in Ayurveda. Pandanus. Very good. Now let me ask to Mantasa Mukhtar. Mantasa Mukhtar. Yes, sir. Two flowers of medicinal value. Rose and calendula. Calendula. A flower calendula. used. Okay. A beautiful flower which grows in water. Lotus. Frogs and toads breathe through their skin. Sir, what? Frogs breathe through their... No, frogs breathe through gills at the sides of their head. Frogs breathe through their gills. Frogs breathe through gills at the sides of their head. Is it true or false? So false. Lizards are amphibians. So false. Okay. So now we have only three minutes left to end the class. So now let me know that in the next class, how you want me to take the class? Online classes or online activity game classes or oral or written? What kind of test you want in the next class? Written test. Written test. Okay, then next class. Okay, very good. Then in next class, I will conduct written test from chapter one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can ask. Yes, I can ask from chapter 1 to 6, but chapter 4, 5, and 6 will be there. Okay, that will be included, but I can ask the previous one also, means from chapter 1, from chapter 2, from chapter 3. So there will be a written test and copy online I will check, online copy I will check. I will ask 10 questions. How many questions I'm going to ask? 10 questions. How 10. Many? 10. So 10 questions. 10 questions. Yes. That day in the next class, you have to keep your book aside. You have to keep your book aside. Close it, then keep it aside. Then after that, I will start saying questions. I will be repeating. I will be telling question by repeating thrice. Three, third time, I will repeat it. Then as soon as possible, okay, as soon as possible, Please keep your book aside whenever you have the written test. So today till here only. So now we have only two minutes left. If you have any doubt, any question, you can ask me. And let me tell you one thing more. Let me let me tell you one thing more. Uh, on second week of July or the first week of July, quarterly examination will be held. But whether it will be held online or offline, that will be messaged. Okay, that will be 
okay that message will be given to you in campus here for that you don't need to worry you just need to focus on your study and whatever the chapters i have taught you i have already completed the syllabus you just need to focus on that only and chapter wise i am taking the revision whatever the test is there you just have to prepare yourself so okay, exam sir. whether exam will be online or offline that will be messaged to you i will message okay. to all of you afterwards okay. so now tell me anyone has any question no sir no sir no sir so keep no, studying sir. everybody keep studying and this video i have recorded i will upload it on youtube okay so that those haven't attended they also can see that whatever is whatever whatever is going on in the class they also have to follow that they cannot say that uh, i have missed the class sir. that's why i'm recording the video and i'm uploading it in youtube okay then bye okay bye everyone bye sir bye, bye sir. thank you sir bye sir thank you sir bye bye sir thank you sir bye 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 sir thank you sir bye bye Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Very Thank good. You, sir. Very good. Very good. Thank Molly you, Singh. sir. Molly Singh. Molly Singh, you have cough and cold. Yes, sir. Oh. Ah, I can't do this. It's for me. Okay. Bye then. We'll meet in next class. Bye, sir. Bye, sir.